Myth win. <laughs> yes or no? Is it a yes for you? Is it a no for you? Is it a yes for you? Is it a no for you? She's never seen it before. Before today, actually. So Myth win is this beautiful, big, whimsical world of expansion and growth and cooperation as you build up your city. Before what? the orcs come <laughs> and the winter comes and they charge over the mountains and they slaughter everybody. So you have to build your defenses. Okay, that's not that's not what myth no. is. There's no orcs, there's no winter, and there's no slaughtering. You just build it up. So it's just it's just a beautiful little world that that that's it? Yes. Look okay. how beautiful it is. Let's watch a little bit of the opening video. Okay. Let's see what it says. Oops. Mythwind continue for place and days. We have traveled for days to a place unknown to us. Our guide is a sprite named Bix. They've requested help in taming the valley, and we are enticed with the promise of a... Bix is an undead demon. <laughs> he's hiding in the guise of a sprite. Don't worry, he's about to explode on them. Okay, carry on. <laughs> we home. Now that we are here, it's beautiful. Surrounded by mountains. Wait, wait, Everyone wait, wait. Now that we are here, okay, how did we get there? Like, does, uh, does the game require sprite? you... Oh, that's the story. Go through like challenges to get there, or you just land in Wonderful Land. Like, I'm. You two commentators. What I'm missing. You two commentators, type that. Type that in because I don't know. What I'm missing. I think you start the, there. Okay. If that's what I think. I'm missing the challenge. <laughs> challenge. Okay, keep going. Maybe I'm. The grown forest, and there is a peculiar tower of unfamiliar design. Is it going to do something? That's where the demons teleport <laughs> in from. Keep going. Something's going to happen here. It's a game where each player uses a unique character to work together to build a new home in a magical valley. You will decide how your town evolves. Okay. It's a it's a it's a campaign of building your village up and up and up with characters that so also. So you just build a, a village. Yeah, I'm not sure what the challenges are. I'm looking at this. I don't I don't know what they are. They're certainly not. We're joking, and I don't and honestly don't mean any disrespect no. to anyone, particularly the people who worked and put so much effort into creating this. Um, Brendel, oh sorry, Brendan. Mm -hmm. um, it's a beautiful world you've created. It might not be for me. Right. Um, and for all I know, you're like, yeah, I, I like, you know, Blood Rage too, and Champions of Midgard, which is right behind us. But this was a different creative vision, right? Right. I mean, it looks amazing. It looks beautiful. Oh, it looks beautiful. Um, I, I guess I'm just, and we'll keep going, but I don't understand what the, what it is you're overcoming, I guess. For yeah, what is the challenge? Yeah. How does the challenge work? What's the gameplay? Uh, well... Explore the valley and learn more about the mysterious history of your new home. So you learn more about the mysterious history. So there's a history. He's written a history into oh. it. Each character in Mythwind is built upon completely unique gameplay. Sessions of... Okay, so each character is unique. It's like asymmetrical. Okay. So if you're the farmer, you have totally different abilities, so skills, and interact? challenges. I guess. I'm not guessing they do. Mythwind continued from when the last session ended, allowing the town continued growth and the characters to develop their abilities each play. The distinctive characters are tied together by their unified goal to build up. The what was your question? Do they work together? Yes. Yeah. That okay. just got answered. Okay. The town. The town will grow in size with every new building, which will, in turn, provide new actions for you to use. Mythwind is an open-ended game where all progress is saved in distinct game trays that allow for payment. Okay, what this is reminding me of, it, and I mean, I, I keep sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> what is it reminding you of? Why is she talking to herself? Okay. Why is she on one side of a bubble? To the point. Um. Focus. Me. Focus. Let's you? go. People are giving us their valuable time. All right. Fine. Um, what this reminds me of is some of those video online games where you do world building. And I don't oh. know that there's like a tremendous, I mean, you know, I know there's been games out there, that's what you do. Yeah. And it's not like you have to then fight off other people trying to come into your village or you don't have to like, 
work to gain more resources or whatever, but, well, I guess you do, but you're world building. And so I'm, it looks like maybe that's what they're doing in a board game. Yeah. It does say, look, live the life of an adventurer. Yeah. So maybe there are, let's go look. I mean, okay. maybe there's there's persistent world, asymmetrical characters, cooperative town building, emerging narrative. So the story is going to develop. You can drop in and out play. That's kind of nice because we were just talking in our last video about campaigns and how much they we love them but we don't ever play them so it's a tip it's a tough thing is this a different video maybe no it's the same video no it isn't yeah it is now that we are here she's going to talk beautiful. about the okay it's politics. only 27 seconds long though so it's a different story uh, the valley needs your help i wish all you dwell in myth we could understand that fix core box character components those are the four characters. I do like that they come in these trays that are pack upable. That is pretty cool. Um, Dwellings of Eldervale did that little trick. Which is really cool. Really nice. You set yeah. them up once and you just pack them away. It's really nice. Uh, secret envelopes. I always like secret envelopes, crafts, dice, the farmer. We won't take too much a look at this. We can get the sense there. The yeah. woodland. <laughs> General components, you got uh, components. We went more into uh, unlocked stuff, great. Uh, fifth player expansion, never like those. Mm. Innkeepers, character components, not sure what all that is. What we really want is get more into the gameplay. I'll expand magical miniatures. Magical miniatures, those are cute. Those are really good, cute. There's four or five, one, two, three, five of them. Those look cute. Back off, we have a cat component. We have a cat encroaching. encroaching on another cat. Yeah, and there could be a flurry of cat fight here in two seconds. <laughs> this video may change <laughs> dramatically in a minute. <laughs> the violence may come. The yeah, violence exactly. we've been yeah. asking for, right? Uh, beautiful art. Definitely, a, it looks like a labor of love for this guy. Yeah. Parchment style map. Okay, some stretch goals. A lot of those. Gameplay highlights. Here, let's let's watch a little together. Okay. Hello everyone, welcome here. We are excited to show you our new board game, Mythwin. My name is Brendan and I'm joined by- This is Brendan. Mythwin. Hello. We are developers on this really cool new project. Mythwin is a- So this is a long video where I'm, in retrospect, we're not going to watch it with you because you can just go watch it yourself. Uh, I am literally, you don't see this, but there's a cat right here. <laughs> There she is, see her? <laughs> she's, re she's causing issues. She is. <laughs> and she knows she's doing it. I just want you to know she knows exactly what she's doing. There's no innocence in this cat. Uh, weather cards event, town action. So weather will be an issue. I guess, okay. uh, look, I will go watch that video. Um, I'm gonna, I, I will watch the video and I'll watch the gameplay so that I can answer and sound a lot more intelligent when it comes down into the comments. Right now, this is a reaction video. So without getting, this is all of our right. videos are like that okay. first reaction before digging into the rules. This My is pretty much when we do first reaction the, is this looks like a beautiful game. It, it, it looks to me that it is a world building game and that you kind of unfold your own world. I'm not seeing anywhere on here what kind of conflict or obstacles there are to overcome. So that's the part that I would be interested in. So on first pass, looks beautiful, but I would want to know exactly how the gameplay works and what I would be contending against. Because even a cooperative game, you're contending against something. So that's that's why it's a game for me. Yeah. And so, uh, again, Brandon, uh, what you've done here is beautiful. But uh, th this, this is a great highlight for me for why I probably am not your target audience on this. So this is the gameplay highlights for the farmer, right? See him there? Uh, plant crops from the tile board to available location. Carefully plan where your crops go to get the best upgrade. Um, build farm, sprinklers, plow, uh, upgrades. So I think the challenge is, this is where the challenge is built into. And that's, that's not a natural interest for me. No. I, I do like the idea of building the village and seeing it all grow and get better. That thematic feel is good. Oh yeah, for sure. No, the I, yeah, exactly. The idea of kind of just going into your own world and, and making this, you know, kind of being creatively engaged in the game, I think is a very cool idea. 
Um, well, the crafter, look, he might go, oh, well, don't play the farmer. Farmer's an idiot. Play the crafter, right? Crafter's creating things. So you bolster their reputation and sell those items at a profit. Corn mechanic, bag building. Oh, for fans of New Orleans Century Spice. Oh, there's, ah, polyominal corn mechanic. For fans of my city, Patchwork and Barron Park. Uh, okay. That's interesting. Okay. That's, that's just a little bit more information. Yeah. You're, you're probably watching for 10 minutes going, oh, these idiots. It's right in front of them. They're screaming at the screen. The car mechanic's right there. I'm all like, go, farmer, <laughs> plant crops. I like that. I like how they seem to have a different mechanic for each one. Yeah. And they're telling you right here, like, hey, if you like this type of mechanic, play this character. So that's pretty And they cool. have a difficulty level, right? Yeah. So if you're playing with your kids, sorry, son, you get the farmer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not impressed with the farmer by nature. This is cynicism on my part. Um, crafter looks pretty awesome. The woodsman, hand management. So it was a card game. Uh, okay. Lord of the Rings card game, the loss of expedition. Cool. Um, though it's actually pretty easy. Hmm. So maybe that's another one for kids. Let's see what the, so, is it a soldier? Go up. There's one up oh. that you missed. Yeah. Merchant. Core mechanic. He's set the most of a set collection. Concordia, Yokohama, and San Juan. So they, they literally, in every one of those named games I've never played, which is tough. So I don't even have any connection. What I know, set collection, maybe right. it's that tableau building. Like, I, like with the Everdell, where you lay out your city and good big, question. Don't know. yeah, don't know. <clears throat> yeah, I I do like that though. I think that is a pretty cool concept. Where hey, if you like this type of game, play this character in this world building game. So I I, I appreciate that. I think that's cool. So it does not end. When does the game end? It has no distinct ending. It's a persistent world. How do I, I win, Mithlin? Book series, okay. There's a book series by Brandon Sasser that I'm a massive fan of that has a motto in it, journey before destination. The short answer to the question above is that you win by embracing the journey. Spiritually, that is a beautiful message. Enjoy the journey. I very much deeply believe it in our work outside of board gaming, mm -hmm. couples therapy and all of that. We definitely embrace a lot of that. Um, I probably don't embrace it very well in a game. Right? Yeah. I mean, you do. Like, you can lose any game and just be happy and go, I just love the play. Note the sarcasm. <laughs> Note the sarcasm here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I am, I am, again, this, this looks great. And if this is what you're interested in, it looks like a beautiful world. I am geared towards being, to overcoming something or having yeah. some sort of obstacle or challenge or conflict or combat or something like that. And so... Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, what do you think of Mithlin? Did you back it? Are you leaning towards it? I think there's a late pledge. I'm going to go stop scrolling and just cheat. <laughs> I think you can pre-order it. So I am, uh, I one dollar backed this and uh, I can tell you uh, that it's a no for me. Like I'm not going to back it uh, unless, you know, she forced me to, which sometimes I, I'm a no on these and then she's all like, get it. Mm -hmm. That happened with Illuminati. No. Illiterati. Illiterati lately. lately. If you saw that little uh, word game. Yeah. But uh, usually we're on the same page, but not always. So, uh, but I'll be honest. Like if someone brought this to the table, I'd be interested in playing it. Mm -hmm. It looks beautiful. It looks whimsical. It looks like they've really captured exactly what, you know, they were going for. And that's cool. Yeah, and I get the sense that this creator, uh, I believe his name is Brendan, not Brandon. Brendan, sorry that I called you Brandon earlier. Uh, really, there's a love here in the game. I can sense that, and that is really appealing to me. It's just not the type of game that works, you know, works for me. Yep. Okay, everybody, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below.